Sunday live stream where we tend to do some kind of a needle felting project. And just now we are doing the Makers monthly subscription box from The Makers. Um, and this month it is a dragon. You can sort of just see him lurking here. This is where we got to last week. So I have a bizarre kind of tadpole type creature <laughs> covered in a lovely aqua. Can you guys even see that? Lovely aqua sparkle. Come on camera. Can't much show them sparkles. Covered in a lovely aqua sparkly magical fiber. So this is the magic dragon from the makers. So that's our plan for today to get a bit more work into him done. So this is what we tend to do every week. If you haven't been here before, I am a needle felter who's here to help you sell arts and well sell and create arts and crafts. Um to make your business out of crafting or to just chill out and relax and enjoy a bit of crafting. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will be checking all of the chat. So if you have any questions, comments or suggestions that aren't rude, um, please join in. Um, so let's just check the chat um and actually make sure that everything's working <laughs> uh gwen can't wait fantastic me neither diana hello felty friends um alicia will this be the right link today oh i hope so technology's wonderful <laughs> um, tobias g'day there hello i don't want to know what time of day it is with you that was some nightmare Carol, hi Pam and the Crafty Clan. Happy Mother's Day. Yep, by the way, it's Mother's Day in the UK. So, Mum, happy Mother's Day. Um, <laughs> I know it's not there yet. Um, <laughs> incidentally, my dad used to always call my mother the dragon, all in jest, bless him. Yeah, um, my dad and us kind of called Mama Witch. Oh, my rude my computer's making noises um my dad and i sort of called mum a witch um in the actual being able to do magic sense rather than the having a big warty nosed sense um computer can you guys hear that my computer is going i i think now is the time to try and do all the updates no Kim, hello there. <laughs> Tobias, yes, it's the Loch Ness Tadpole. It is a weird looking critter just now. <laughs> Alicia, yes, it's just in the baby stage. <laughs> um, Gwen got the maker's kit. Can't wait to start. I'm mildly intimidated, but going to try my best. Well, I think anyone who has done any level of felting, in fact, if even if it's your first time felting, I think anyone can make a giant sleepy tadpole. So that's not intimidating. And then once you start with that, the maker's kits are, I, I really like because, okay, they don't think like me. They do things differently than me, but they think like me in that making stuff is just simple shapes. That's a long tube with fat bits in it. Legs are long tubes that you bend and stick on the side. <laughs> if you take it as simple ideas, then you can make some quite compact complex shapes that, I mean, I think some of my very first felting videos I made were literally the two shapes you need for needle felting animals most of the time is a ball and a tube. If you can do that, you've got practically everything apart from ears, really. It's fairly easy. Um... Diana, I'm fine this week. Awesome. I'm actually working. Thank you for letting me know. I do panic. It, it sounds terrible, me going, are we working? Are we working? But now you all know why, because it's not always working. Um, Serena, hello there. Um, Gwen, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Joe, hi Pam and the Fluffettes. We need a little, someone, someone wants to draw a little band type type thing, you know. We're a little music group of Pam and the Fluffettes. Heather, hello there. Um, Gwen, mine's not a dragon, it's the little cats and dogs. Oh, different kit. Right, cool. Again, cats and dogs. Balls and tubes. 90% <laughs> of it. Um, oh, I want to show, while we're talking to cats and dogs, I think I mentioned this last week, but I've been working on something. Excuse me. <laughs> you know how cats are hard? And they are hard. But I figured out... They don't show up great. Will they show up there? Um, I have figured out how to do a specific breed of cat if anyone's interested at any point. Oh, you are too bright. But 
to <laughs> um, totally actually adorable and so easy to do. I've got a bit addicted to them, so I might, I might possibly, I plan to maybe do some kind of a quick tutorial to make these little guys because they are so easy. Um, but it's relatively relatively cute and it ends up looking like a cat and the white is overexposing on the camera there's not much i can do about that but um it's basically the fa the faces of the bracky cats the exotic short haired the persian cats but it actually is so much easier <laughs> so yeah if you if you want i'll do something like that <laughs> um yeah, who have we got? Um, oh, Alicia's in the house. Hi there. Um, Gwen, UK chocolate is divine. Hey, we'll have to start selling, sell, sending care packages to America. Well, other places too. Um, I have heard, I haven't tried American chocolate, but I've heard that UK chocolate is a step up. So if if that's the case, you guys want to get hold of some Belgian chocolate then. <laughs> because I always remember when dad went away on business trips and stuff and he went to that kind of places he would bring Belgian chocolate back because Belgian chocolate was so much nicer than UK chocolate so go the full hog get the really good stuff <laughs> um, but you enjoyed your UK chocolate that's awesome uh freedom hello there um samantha new to needle felting and your oh, videos are amazing thank you so much thank you for doing them thank you for joining in and starting to become a felter we we love felters although any type of crafty artistic or just chatty person is welcome here um alicia the cats are so cute thank you so much i like i say i've just become addicted i had a little while where i didn't have orders for a few days and i thought i'm gonna see if i can do cats and i did and i'm happy with them <laughs> um Steffi, hi there. I'd love to stay, but I have to do some stuff with my daughter. Yeah, Mother's Day, way more important. <laughs> dragon looks far, fab so far. Um, thank you for doing the dragon. No, um, this is Steffi. I'm pointing like she's actually there. So it's Steffi, one of the makers, ladies. I'll try and stop calling you girls. I can't help doing that. <laughs> one of the makers, ladies, who create these wonderful kits. So just thank you for doing the dragon kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for me. CJ's in the house. Hey there. Serena likes the cats. Awesome. Um, oh Gwen, I wish our chocolate in the USA tasted that good. Maybe you shouldn't uh maybe you shouldn't get Belgian chocolate because then you'll just be spoiled forever. <laughs> you'll never be able to go back. <laughs> um joking, yeah, up for the cat. <laughs> Alicia's scared of the heads. <laughs> I I had to bring them upstairs because I, I generally felt downstairs in front of the telly because literally I've got a pyramid of cat heads. <laughs> so, okay, I better bring them upstairs and maybe I'll be tempted to film them. Um, Charlene, hello there. How are you doing? Uh, Pamela, hi there. Um, Gwen, I want to use my maker's kit to make a Siamese. Absolutely. Siamese cats are awesome. I think for anyone who doesn't know, <laughs> cats are really hard to sculpt. They, they're they just difficult. I think it's that kind of uncanny valley and they sort of have, odd to say, but they have a more humanish face because their faces are a bit flatter and proportioned a bit more like humans. So it's easy to get them wrong. I think distinctive breeds of cats like the Siamese or like what I've done with the Persian cats and everything, you know, if they have distinctive markings or distinctive shapes, that makes it a little bit easier because that's why the dogs are in general a bit easier because the longer snout and stuff, apart from the ones that don't, um, but because of the longer snout, the proportions don't have to be exact before getting them right. Although German Shepherd dogs took me so long to get the hang of. No idea why I couldn't do them. Um, Lisa, hello there. Oh, Charlene missed the cats. Shall we get a cat back again? Or should we get a stack of cat heads back again? Would you stop being... There we go. It's a little less overblown on that camera. Still... Okay, stop showing things in white. Um, most of them are white. You weren't really... Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to show you things on the microphone. Let, should we go the right way around? Yay. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, most of the stuff I've made is in white because I'm just sitting in the front of the tally practicing. I'm going to use the cheap core. Um, now, Gwen, we get Mercy. I, I don't know what you mean. Is that a type of chocolate or? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Carol, thank you so much. Um, Ginger, good morning. Resetting all my clocks. Have the clocks changed? Have I, am I at a different time? <laughs> um, Oregon, cloudy and cold. Alicia, hi, Pam. Um, Gwen, yep, uh, Mother's Day in the US isn't till May the 9th. Yes, I knew it was later. Oh, um, Gwen, yes, Mercy is a Belgian chocolate. Um, yeah, <laughs> I know I want chocolate. You guys are mean. <laughs> I should have said this a month or two ago, but just tuck it in your heads for next year. When you're selling online, a lot of people in the UK are saying, oh, we don't have a chance. It's so much harder. There's the camera. We don't have a chance. It's so much harder. Um, but this Mother's Day thing is a good example of how we can actually do a little bit better. And for everyone who's international, this Mother's Day being earlier in the UK, bear it in mind. Because if you'd have put listings up, as I should have told you two months ago, if you'd have put listings up earlier and started to get some clicks and views and sales for Mother's Day for right now, you're ahead of the pack who are going to be, sorry, my hand's showing up in the other camera, it's annoying me. You're ahead of the pack that are not put up their listings yet for Mother's Day in America. And the algorithm isn't gonna say, oh no, that was, mo that was a different Mother's Day. You've got an advantage. So bear that in mind, if there's holidays that are a bit sooner or something, if you can be getting, if you can have started this year off already having Mother's Day sales, you're doing better than everybody else. So you might rank a bit better in the algorithm. Um, <laughs> right, well, I'm, I'm going to start actually felting because I've been talking for over 10 minutes. Okay, so we've got this this far. I even bended it into the sleepy tadpole shape. So we've got that far. So the next bit... From this remaining portion, take one third of it. So it's about that much. We all know I'm terrible at leaving myself enough. Oops. It's about that much. Do I need the camera over a little bit more? There we go. Um, and then split this into four pieces. So roughly that bit skinnier than that bit. These are going to be tiny. I didn't leave myself much. We, we knew this. Um, but trust trust the process. <laughs> I always use too much wool. Anyway, okay, roughly four evenish sized bits. So let's actually follow what they tell us to do. So take this one half, fold it in half and roll it up from the side and then go felty felty. I can do. Um, uh, Alicia, do you want me to have headless cat nightmares? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Charlene, yeah, mercy is thank you in French, probably not pronounced like how I pronounce it, but <laughs> something like that. And it's also a, ge a German, a, ge a Belgian chocolate. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, floating cat heads, bodies. I've got some bodies downstairs. As well. Okay, that could be totally taken out of context. I'm going to see like memes of Pam. I've got some bodies downstairs with a happy smile on my face. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thinking Stephen King here, absolutely. <laughs> I, when I've been felting so many animals, I don't think of it as quite so weird that I've got random bodies and heads kicking about the place or I'm stabbing into eyeballs or mouths. It, it, it stops seeming... So, this, this stream is so getting demonetized, isn't it? Um, Charlene, your son bought you, among other things, some 85% dark chocolate, dark cooked. 
85% cocoa chocolate. You love dark, but 85 is too much. Yeah, it is tough. I've been off sugar for quite a bit and trying to eat some of the darker chocolates. I've had some 95%. It, it's a bit too much, I agree. Um, 70, 75% is really nice. 85, you have to get a taste for, but it really makes, right, if you don't want to eat it, makes awesome truffles. Just um, boil up some cream, drop the chocolate in, mix it up till it melts, let it cool a bit, whisk it up, spoon it out, and you've got chocolate truffles that are delicious. You can probably add some kind of sweetener in as well if you're not a crazy sadist um gwen i think a pug would be as hard as the flat face of the cats yeah um pugs and fr i do actually have a video on a boston terrier which pugs are kind of the same apart from a little flatter and have more of a nose rope um on them which yeah don't let me get me started on ranting about these things they're they're cute to make but they're not necessarily cute to breed <laughs> um yeah no I, I will i'll do my i'll do my rant little rant um and it's not i don't hate the breeds i've got um a friend of mine has frenchies i know some pugs and everything and i love they're such game little dogs i love them but if you're getting any of these dogs make sure you're going to a really reputable breeder. And by reputable, you're not just looking for health checks. You're looking for people who aren't breeding the dogs smaller and smaller. You're looking for them who are not breeding more and more exaggerations and more shorter nose, more wrinkles and stuff. Because these things are actually welfare issues for the animals. You take a normal sized dog and we've shortened their nose, but we haven't shortened all the soft tissue in the back, so they have trouble breathing and things. So be careful what breeders you're supporting. I, as I say, I love the little dogs. I kind of see why people find them cute, but be careful not to encourage more exaggerations, more extreme. There you go. There's, there's my rant. I, I love dogs, <laughs> and I would love them to have as full a life as possible and snorting and snoring isn't cute <laughs> it's it's hard for them i'm so let, let's see if like 40 people have have logged off <laughs> so give me a thumbs down if you don't agree with that um carol your second sale was for mother's day awesome sold your set sold your hair oh fantastic great job yep at least you're saying fantastic too um and Alicia, yeah, not as not a fan of that dark chocolate either. It it's hard. It takes a bit to get used to, absolutely. But I've kind of because I've been trying to go for the darker and darker chocolates. I'm also kind of a bit like the milk chocolate's a bit not enough <laughs> for me. I need a bit more. So dark's good. Gwen doesn't like dark at all. Send it all here, <laughs> Carol. Exactly. Add some rum. Rum truffles are lovely. Yeah, exactly. And truffles are so easy. I mean, don't don't look at the recipes that involve doing loads of loads of work. Cream and chocolate and stuff. <laughs> and it's delicious. Um Oh Charlene, yeah, 70 to 75% chocolate's about right. You're gonna make chocolate custard with it. Oh yeah, tasty too. Um ahem. Serena, there's a breeder down the road from me, and honestly, they don't have a nose. Yeah. Oh, no, they have to be put down weeks after being sold. It's disgusting. No one's doing anything. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I totally I totally hate that. Uh, th there's no need. F well, the only need, people are going that extreme because people buy them, um, because people think it's cute. So we have to stand up and, and say... You know, I don't hate your dog. I don't hate you. But wouldn't it be nice to give your dog just a tiny bit more of a nose? Um, but the pro and I totally get it. Like if you say anything that seems to be against someone's dog, because I, I will defend defend my dog to the hilt. So I get it when they're doing it too. You're not having a go at your dog at their dog, but you're just saying the breed as a whole would be better if we didn't keep going down this road. Maybe stop here or do a little better 
Um, paper grain, hello there. Oh, thankfully I haven't got tons of thumbs down yet, so I'm good. <laughs> um, Gwen, your husband owned a pug, but had to get rid of him. Um, and you were, he had no companionship and you were highly allergic. Oh, no. Um, yeah, Diana, the breeder should be responsible. Absolutely. Um, there are, Germany is, they're actually breeding pugs with a longer muzzle. I think they look absolutely adorable. Um, I can't remember the name. It's like rog and top pugs or the, there's a fancy name for them, but they look, I think they look adorable. Um, and more like the old ones you see in painting, like historic paintings, which is kind of cute as well. Um, <laughs> Alicia, as an American myself, but living in the UK, I can't sp stand Cadbury's chocolate. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> no, it, we have more than Cadbury's. That's that's the thing. And although it does have quite a stranglehold on the market, um, I suppose kind of as as does was it Hershey's in America um but there there are other I, I've always been a bit of bit of a fa oh, so making my you guys are making me hungry but um Bourneville chocolate always nice and galaxy used to love a bit of galaxy I've not had for years and um Alicia preach on Pam had many friends with dogs who had problems from breeders absolutely and as i've got friends who are really knowledgeable and have spent ages researching and finding the right breeder and then it turns out the breeder was you know hiding something not quite as good as they seemed to be um which is such a shame that's that's why although there's breeds of dogs i would like i'm probably always just going to get the rescue that comes to me because <sighs> to be honest some some people are selling like whoopsie covid crossbreeds for two thousand pounds that's like crazy go to the dogs trust get a get, get a decent dog for 150 quid or something that they're through no fault of its own um Gwen, yeah, they got him from a reputable company. Yeah, yeah Gwen, the, the, your husband's pug, his face wasn't that flat. Yeah, and that's, I, I think they're awesome wee dogs. They really are. I mean, it's the ones, like the bulldogs and the pugs and everything, they're the ones you see, like, going skateboards and really, you know, fearless and and i love that kind of character but then people go oh i love it he sleeps all the time and you're like yeah he's sleeping all the time because he is oxygen deprived <laughs> how did we get into it right <laughs> alicia thumbs up please. I, I don't i don't know if i should be asking for a thumbs up just after i've done a rant but anyway what should our thumbs up goal for for this video be i think we got 35 thumbs up last week i can't remember um but but yeah let us know what we should aim for as our thumbs up total it does nothing other than makes me smile <laughs> <laughs> so please if you feel like it give us a thumbs up if you really dislike this stream give us a thumbs down it's it's all a click of the button um mr tamaya did i say that right cool um good day everyone from skid skiz skigat sk ah, i know how to say this word skigat skiskatchewan <laughs> I've only been on for 25 minutes and I can't do words. But Canada, hello there. I am sorry I mangled your name and your place, but it's really great to see you here. Oh, Carol, Thornton's chocolates as well. Yep, absolutely. Not been in the Thornton's for ages. For everyone who's not in the UK, we're just talking about random chocolates. Um, let us know if you're international. What's your what's your favourite? What's good chocolates where you are? Let's let's have an international list of the decent chocolates. <sighs> I have no chocolate in the house, and I'm not leaving the house to get chocolate. Um, 
Serena, I always wanted a pug, but I don't like them now. Much preferred when they had a longer snout and pronounced nose. Well, that's that does exist a little bit um, as well. Yeah, it's, it's the same in so many breeds. Um, I kind of like the Shetland sheepdogs, little shouties, um, just because I like a dog about that size, but being smart and everything but they just had too much hair for me and someone showed me pictures of them from like a hundred years ago and stuff and they were like still long haired but not so just floof and it was just was like can I not have can I go back in time a hundred years and get a dog from then because that just looked perfect but new uh, Gwen you have Cadbury's I believe in America Although it's named Cadbury's, it's actually Hershey's because um, it's illegal to sell our Cadbury's in America. I heard that from someone. Don't don't quote me. I'm it's, I'm more asking <laughs> asking a question. Um, Alicia, yep, Gla Galaxy is okay too. Love the Belgian too. Yep. Um, <laughs> oh god. I should read ahead when I'm doing these. Gwen, um, are they made by Hershey's? Yeah, Cadbury's in America are, but Cadbury's is a UK company that started here. Cadbury's and Bourneville Fries, I think, are all UK com companies, words. Um, but Cadbury's did a deal with Hershey's so they can sell in the US and they can sell sort of similar bars to what we've got like you can get a Cadbury's cream egg but apparently it's not like our Cadbury's cream egg Cadbury's cream eggs are in the shop just now. <laughs> um so you get it but it it seems ridiculous you get Cadbury's chocolate that isn't Cadbury's chocolate in America because Hershey's doesn't want you guys to have Cadbury's chocolate weird <clears throat> Charlene, her favourite's Galaxy. It's so creamy and lush. I I do like them. Um, Gwen, love Milky Ways and Galaxy is the dark chocolate variant. Um, well, the Galaxy isn't so much a dark chocolate. It's just a bit creamier. I've not had it for ages. It might be too much for me. <laughs> Serena, um, Terry's chocolate orange is my enemy. I can't stop eating the stuff. Yeah, I did used to love that. Not, and you get it in a bar now. I forgot. We that this is this is one where my non UK friends will be very confused. We have this chocolate that's infused with orange, which I know is weird for a lot of countries. They don't like citrus with their chocolate, but it works really well. Chocolate orange, lush. Um, but. The chocolate is formed into slices like an orange and then formed into a, an orange and wrapped up in orange foil and sold like that. And it's about the size of an orange. So it's a lot. I've said orange a lot in one sentence there. Um, and it used to. I've seen people with them now and you just open them and it separates out. But when I was a kid, they were packaged and there was like a little core of chocolate down the middle and they were... Although it was individual slices, they were really sort of tightly stuck together. So the you were supposed to, like, they called it tap and unwrap. You had to tap the top and then to break up all the bits and then unwrap it. But it was more than a tap. You had to throw this thing against a wall several times. To, so that was kind of part of the fun. But they've spoiled it now by taking, not spoiled, they've made it easier, by taking the individual slices and sort of making them into a bar. Which is, boy, you and I believe, and I believe the actual orange as well isn't so tightly bound, so you don't have to cause injury to people trying to smash it against things. Gwen, you have a Havanese dog now. Oh, awesome. Do you know, oddly enough, Havanese is one of the dog breeds that I'm most asked to needle felt. It was a total surprise, just and here here's a tip for selling things. And um, when I had time i just made a whole load of different dog breeds and put them up for sale and seed seed seen what did best and have an ease just did really well i was thinking you know where i where i live you're like jack russell um border collie labrador spaniel but no <laughs> i suppose it's because so many other people can do them well but nobody's making have an ease so yeah 
<laughs> Alicia's making the feet just now too, but doesn't want to stab herself, so she's using the earth mat. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't have to felt the way I do, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> There we are. And of course, I don't need to felt these super firmly. Right, that looks like a mishmash. I don't have to felt these super firmly because he's not going to stand up. Else he would have wire in his legs if he was going to stand up. You can, for before anyone asks or whatever, with a needle felted thing, you can make something entirely of needle felting. And I've made something that was about a foot in size and it was still able to stand up. But you have to felt it so firmly and it's literally just a waste of time. You use a wire armature if you want things to stand up. I've got hair sticking to my lips. Sorry about that. Um. CJ, you bought a pug-faced Persian cat about 30 years ago. Yeah, poor little thing suffered so badly. She was still a wonderful cat. I've educated myself. It's cruel. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it totally, you know, people don't know. They, that's just what the cat looks like. And you don't realize what's, what's happened. And yeah, 30 years ago, sadly, the cats are not getting the cats are as bad this is a thing as humans do we've bred short-faced rabbits as well which have the same problems and we're even kind of getting there with weird faced horses as well shortening horses faces uh charlene i'd never give you a thumbs down oh thank you so much you guys are so lovely it's actually for anyone that's ever looking to do a, a youtube channel or something that when you first get your thumbs down it's like what did i do this is terrible this is an awful thing and then what you'll find happens it's like bots or whatever else but every video you put up suddenly you're getting a single thumbs down like even before anyone's watched the video pretty much and rather than being worried and going oh no i'm getting a thumbs down you're like i've made it as a youtuber now i have the bot that thumbs down me <laughs> so or or a person stalking me so much like someone who hates me so much they're stalking to just give thumbs down on every video and you're like you don't realize you're actually just helping by jumping on all my videos <laughs> like carry on with your hating so but i i appreciate i i, I appreciate the thumbs up better but <laughs> yeah alicia amazon will send oh shush i actually i don't even need that because i have a tesco delivery slot booked for tomorrow so when i come off here I'm going to make tea first. Don't shop hungry. But when I come off here, I'm just going to literally load up my cart and sort out my Tesco delivery. But yes, I do also have Amazon next day delivery. That's terrible. Um, Gwen, my Siamese was an apple head flame point. <laughs> oh, right. Cool. Um, I'm going to have to Google that. That sounds fun. Um, but yes, I know there's different names for the the head of animals because you get that with chihuahua dogs uh, there's a deer headed or a, a different thing but there's two sort of different sizes um different types of heads so which does mean chihuahuas are splitting up into the little healthy ones and the little ones that might the little aesthetic but not necessarily so healthy ones if that makes sense um serena yeah i love shelties but my long-haired chihuahua casts enough for me yeah totally agree <laughs> um yes i don't know how much see the the sheltie of the past didn't look much more hairy than a long-haired chihuahua that's why I liked it. it. It had a little extra furnishings, but it wasn't. Yeah, you know, it was. It was like a a little less, well, smaller and a little less than a lassie, rather than four lassies, four lassies worth of hair rolled into one small body. <laughs> 
Uh, Samantha, you're from Pennsylvania, USA. My favorite chocolate is Gardner candy. I haven't even heard of that one. Love the chocolate peanut butter eggs. Oh, that sounds nice. Chocolate and peanut butter is, is a good match. Um, Charlene, are boy dogs or girl, girl dogs best? It depends on you. I've got friends who love having boy dogs. I have friends who love having girl dogs. Um, I've had one of each. And my experience isn't universal, but it's common enough that I've seen that um, male dogs in general tend to be a little bit more baby, a little bit more clingy, a little more bit more, you know, closer to your side, not necessarily more loyal, but just, you know, mom, <laughs> which is probably like boys. I didn't say that. Um, and female dogs tend to be a little bit more independent. They still cuddle, but it's like on their terms, um, more likely to be off plotting mischief and things, but a little bit smarter, um, potentially <laughs> um so it's just different um it it depends what you like but and also the if there are pro because let, let's be real there can be problems with dogs um male dogs it, it's more sort of straightforward violence they, they don't kind of hold a grudge it's just like i don't like the way that dog's looking at me uh rah, 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 big fight happens and then they their best friends the next time whereas female dogs can kind of remember a grudge and plot and <laughs> but, but that's just it, like not just my two but i i've worked i'm a, an agility instructor so i've met a, i've met a few but um I, i've met a few dogs but that's not universal but but on average there's neither there's not they're not better or worse um just different um Oh, Gwen, your Siamese was half tabby cat. Awesome. <laughs> Char oh, stop it. Stop it, Charlene. You can get um, galaxy dark buttons. Ooh, that does sound really good. <laughs> ah, Alicia, cool. Um, I knew the Cadbury's cream egg was different, but you're saying it tastes much better in America. Awesome. A Cadbury's egg in America is a bit darker. Oh, that sounds good because to be honest i love them but i think i love the idea more because they are ridiculously sweet um so yeah oh a dark breeze cream egg that sounds nice hmm. and if they could like flavor the inside like a little bit orange or lemon or something that isn't because <laughs> someone asked what's the flavor of a cadbury's cream egg it's like it's sugar <laughs> it's flavored sugar it's not flavoured of sugar. Its flavour is just sugar. Still want one. <laughs> um, trying to fold in half, roll up. Trying to remember to do things properly. Um, <laughs> Charlene, yeah. Terry's Chocolate Orange is a British institution, isn't it? Just, I, I can't believe that I've totally just, like, <laughs> you're coming on a stream for me to explain how to eat chocolate. <laughs> How random. Whack it and unwrap it. Yes. <laughs> and Gwen loves Terry's chocolate oranges. Cool. Oh, you still have to whack it. Awesome. <laughs> um, Serena, you got one this morning and had to throw it on the floor to get it to separate. Se se separate. <sighs> Let's just deal with the fact that, you know, in real life, I can do words. I, I can actually speak. Come on air. Mm, words, no, words don't happening. Um, oh, Pamela, Tarry's is available in the USA during the holidays. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, Serena, I know, don't tap, whack it. I, tap never worked. Um, Alicia, seriously, how does she felt something so small without blood? Lots of blood. I, you've You've all been here. You've seen. I've done a little bit of stabbing myself occasionally. It's more. How do I not pay attention and add, end up with one really chunky leg? Um, but it's just practice and general laziness. Because in general, I like to put a movie on and sit in front of the TV and felt. 
rather than I know a lot of people are like are like adults. They have a felting place. They sit up at the table and they concentrate on felting. I I wouldn't advise necessarily not looking and talking to a camera and felting. That's probably a step too far. But it's just practice and sheer laziness. It's the same like a, a lot of the things, you know, where it says to sew them or whatever. I don't sew them, I felt them, and that's just laziness because it means me not having to get up and find a needle and thread. I can just needle felt it. Um, oh, Pamela, Oregon has several boutique chocolatiers that are worth seeking out. Hey, boutique chocolate, boutique, bo bo Batik chocolatiers, I know the words I'm trying to say, sound good to me. I, I would seek them out in any place. <laughs> um, Gwen, Cuban native dogs, they are, and they're related to the Bichon and the Poodle, but we get our boy in a terrier cut. Yeah, they are cute, but again, excess hair can really be a problem as well. Um, so yeah, I much I much prefer a lot of them trimmed. It's it's this oh poodles. It it looks amusing. It's fun to make a poodle in a show cut as a needle felted sculpture. They are awesome fun. But in reality, if you own a poodle, a little lamb cut, much easier. <laughs> um Oh, Ginger's winding camel hair yarn. I have to reset the dye or my kipot will leak. Like Rudy Giuliani's face? I, I don't get that reference, but don't, we, we don't want leaky faces here. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Tamaya has two Shih Tzus, a Pomeranian and a Pitbull. That's an awesome mix. I love my Pitbull. She's so gentle and loving. Um, all the little dogs pick on her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Pitbulls are... I haven't met one, but from what I've heard, they cat, they, they're generally lovely dogs. Unfortunately, they're banned in the UK. But I think it's similar temperament to a staffy in most cases the problem arose was when you're breeding a dog with so much power and stuff you don't want to be breeding from the more aggressive dog you want to be breeding from the dogs with the good temperament which the dog's supposed to have but we had people breeding from dogs with bad temperaments um for their own egos and stuff and there was a lot of not good things happened. Um, I think that's that's enough said there. Um, and pit bulls got banned in the UK, which is sad. Um, it, it's the people that that messed up and they messed it up for everyone. Because I know there was people who had lovely pit bulls, but yes, they can be great. Um, <laughs> Alicia, yeah, you said sugar at the same time as me for the flavour of a Cadbury's egg inside. Um, no, I don't hate Hershey's. I was just saying I'd, I'd heard people say that Hershey's wasn't so good. I've never actually tasted it. So I'm I'm not dissing on anyone's chocolate. I'm just, this is kind of what I've heard. I've only tried UK chocolate and Belgian chocolate. And there's plenty bad UK chocolate. Um, yes. Oh, Diane, yes. Yes. How about a dark chocolate coffee cream filled egg? You, you've got it. Yes, that that if it's not a thing already, well, I could I could make it myself quite easily, actually. <laughs> yeah, so that that is about to become a, a thing. But yes, that sounds much better than a cream egg. It sounds perfect. Or praline, praline filled anything is. I think that actually exists. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, Mr. Tamayo, your pit bull is a beautiful brindle colour. I would love to figure out how to felt her colour. Color. Um, <clears throat> what you can do, there's a couple of ways to do it. But um, an easy one is to card your colours. So you've got the dark colours and light ones. Card them either with brushes or if you have a drum carder, you're lucky. <laughs> but just card them so the colours blend slightly and then you get the stripes of colour and then just kind of lay that on in the direction that it's happened. And that makes, oh, sorry, my hair's annoying. That makes a really awesome kind of brindle colour. 
I've also seen companies that will do it for you. They card a brindle colour, but that's all they've done is they've taken, say if it's a dark brindle, you'll take more of the dark colour and just blend in some of the lighter. It's usually a kind of gingery colour. Um, Alicia, love a poodle with a lamb cut. Exactly. Poodles, poodles are awesome dogs and come in a variety of sizes, which I think is fun as well. <laughs> um, Alicia, I totally agree. The chocolate, dark, dark chocolate coffee egg sounds perfect. Um, Oh, Alicia, yep, yeah, thank you. Yes, um, post a photo of the Brindle dog on Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. Thank you so much. Yes, that would be awesome. Oh, I, I have spent so long talking, but I, I managed to get three, four legs done in that time. So that's good news. Um, two centimetres from the felted end. Oh, short. Um, but we want to make a bend. So easy way to make a bend is if you right and notice how i'm not felting my fingers is by having them not there so you just felt backwards and forwards in the same place and that creates a line and that it's already starting to bend where i'm doing this and then while I'm doing that, because the needle's going all the way through, there's some fibrous come out of the back. I just kind of bend it, hold it, hopefully without getting my fingers in the way too much, and felt into that hock to stabilise it. So I'm using some of the fibrous that came out to make a nice secure bend. Uh, it's not going to be standing up, so it doesn't have to be amazing, but just do it a little bit just to all the way around in this hock. And it will just keep it in its position. So that's that's super easy to bend a bit of felt. There we go, one bent leg. <laughs> Hopefully we'll rattle through this bit. It doesn't take too long. Um Alicia, yep, um we can help you with the colours. Absolutely. Um the the makers or some of the other people in the group that, that have their <laughs> That, that sell fibres and stuff might know what, what's the right colour because sometimes it's hard, especially with a mixed colour like that. It's hard I find it super hard with cats like a tabby cat to actually figure out in my mind what colour the base colour of the cat is because it seems like yellowy tanny, whatever, but your eyes thrown off by all the stripes, if that makes sense um uh, Ginger, do you get requests for Bedling ter Bedlington Terriers? I'm sure I misspelled it. They look like a sheep crossed with a greyhound. Um, I have had some sales. I haven't done them for a while. I'm not sure if my Bedlington's up on the on the page. I, my on my Etsy shop, I of the one things that I've made before, I post sort of it's custom orders but i make it specific to the breed if i've got some specialist breeds so it would be a picture of the bedlington and everything i can't remember if it's still up but i have had to make them before not had to i've enjoyed making them i think they're great fun they do look like a sheep crossed with a greyhound <laughs> um <laughs> charlene if you run out of the blue you could always use some of your <laughs> <laughs> it's not in in real life it's actually not the same color although my hair is that side fading out and starting to go a bit yellow i really i'm hoping if i've got energy this week um i will do it again it's it's hard i was just thinking that today is because i'm seeing you guys because i'm making videos because i'm online I'm dyeing my hair, but probably I wouldn't have dyed my hair at all this year because I've not seen anyone. Um, because I could just keep thinking I'll save it, I'll dye my hair nice when we're allowed to go out and go places, but it's gonna be a wee while before we're allowed to go out still. So I, I should definitely dye this. I mean, how my roots are like about two inches long now. <laughs> Gwen, yep, you've made an olive green into a hunter green with carding. Yeah, carding's good for I I was about to say I, I'd really love a carding drum, but 
I have a very small house and I don't really want more junk in it that I probably won't use. I would like to go somewhere and have a play about with a carding drum. That that sounds better. It would be, be cool to go places that you could buy like a pick and mix of fibers and just quickly blend it yourself. Like I know you can you can do people will do custom blends for you, but I, I want to blend. I want to play. Um Yeah, Char Charlene on green on screen. <laughs> That's because your name is green. It's remarkably similar. If I do, it is actually, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's the underlying tone of your hair when you bleach it is usually yellow, so the blue's fading to a yellow. So yes, it is quite similar <laughs> actually. Doesn't unfortunately, my hair doesn't grow these excellent sparkles in it though. That's how cool would that be? <laughs> Hair, hair dye people, take note. We don't just want solid colours now. We want, um, yes, we want our hair to grow with with sparkles. That would be very cool. <laughs> yeah. Gwen, yes, did it with pet brushes. Yes, same. Um, I actually have a whole video on how to blend thing, card things with pet brushes. It's just the it's just a drum card. It looks fun, if we're honest. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with carding stuff with pet brushes. Um, and yeah, don't, if you're going to do it with brushes, don't spend the money on expensive carding brushes. They're like twice the price of, you can get two dog slicker brushes, yeah, dog slicker grooming brushes for like half the price so save your money sorry for anyone who sells them but literally save your money they do the same job pretty much yeah. oh alicia cool steffi carded custom blends for us that went on the makers weekend hug zoom retreat <laughs> so many words i'm struggling with words today uh, you can't wait to get the alicia blend oh that's adorable <laughs> I have to see have to see what you make with the Alicia blend. <laughs> That's so cool. What a good idea. I uh, went drum card, it does look fun. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> right, right, right. Where am I at? I'm sure it's joining legs on. Yes. Join legs on. Uh, okay, so let's try and get them. They're chunky, they're less chunky. Um and want it facing forwards. So I'm just going to figure out where they're going first. Try and make sure they're touching the floor as well. So this is my fat bit. This is my body. So this is my legs. So I'll just sort of tack them on first. I'm using the camera to see the other side. See, it's so much easier to felt when you've got a camera in front of you. Um. Gwen, you paid ten dollars for a pair of of carding brushes. Awesome. Um, oh, Alicia, the maker's brushes are dog brush price. <laughs> awesome. Um, cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's it. Always, always check. But there's, well, if you have pets and you have <laughs> the cart that well the slicker brushes lying around i mean not necessarily wanting to to do that for clients um to have stuff that you've brushed your dog ha dog's hair in but you can definitely give it a go with your pet slicker brushes and see how it works out for you um before you commit any money to it <laughs> Alicia, your Jack Russell just woke up from her afternoon nap. It must be five. Well, almost. Oh, does she get fed at five or something? Um, my my girl gets fed at about eight o'clock. So five to eight on the dot every day. I start to have eyes drilling into my soul. It's like it is feeding time. You are aware, human. <laughs> it is time that you you fed me. Um. Yes, and don't you dare go late, else she starts. I really am going to have to film it sometime. She starts whinging. It's not quite whining. It's... <laughs> and drumming her feet and throwing her head back, like basically having small tantrums if she's not fed in time because she's starving. She, she's going to waste away to nothing, which is exactly like 
<laughs> I don't know if my niece and nephew are watching, but this is exactly like what my little sister was like um, many, many years ago when she was little. Um, as as was I, that that's that's how aging works. <laughs> but she just got a brand new watch and um had learnt to tell the time and so we were driving up to my grandparents, which lived hundreds of miles away, so it was a long drive. And driving along, oh it's nearly twelve o'clock. Are we gonna be stopping for dinner? It's nearly twelve o'clock, says my little sister. Twelve o'clock passes. It's past 12 o'clock. We're not having lunch. It's past 12 o'clock. And then it's past one o'clock. I'm going to tell grandma you're starving us. <laughs> so, yeah, so my sister and my dog are the same person. <laughs> Except my dog's far prettier. Sorry, dog. <laughs> um, Oh, Gwen, you use pet slicker brushes to make yarn tails for costuming. Oh, I like the sound of that. You're going to have to show us there. Cool. Uh, Rose didn't know the makers had brushes. The makers have everything. <laughs> Check out the makers. And Sorry, hit the mic. And they are they are really good, good prices. So check them out as well. Um, absolutely. Alicia, your dog is ready for dinner hubby comes in at, at 5 30 in the week ah gotcha that makes sense i can't believe not in a bad way but i've been enjoying talking chocolate uh, mainly to you guys so much we've only just got the legs done so far i'm gonna have to do something else do some of the face um, else this is gonna be like the least i've ever done I'll felt them on a little bit firmer later, but we've got to get on and get something else done before the end of the stream. I've been enjoying it too much. Um, okay, it's saying to build up the legs, but we'll do that later because I want to make sure I get the eyes right. The eyes are important. And then we'll maybe start putting some of the yellow on. Take a wisp of wool for each eye. Let's let's aim for a slightly even wisp. I'm just gonna take a bit more. There we go. Um, fold, or is that too much? That's probably too much. See, and I need Steffi here to guide me <laughs> to say, "Bam, stop it." Okay, but I, I see what we're doing. So fold it in half, and then felt this flat to make a eyelid that that says eyelids in big print there um oh Gwen, your dog has his food out all day from the time we get up oh yeah you're free you free feed um i never did that because firstly my boy kind of quit eating and i found if i left food out he just didn't bother it was better to actually feed him and then I got my girl, you know, feed him at set times. He was more likely to eat. Um, and when I got my girl, she'd been astray and she was used to feeding herself. And she would literally not regulate. She still, she, she's my spirit animal, really. She would just eat until she burst, to be perfectly honest. And also, she wouldn't share with my <laughs> share with my boy either so there would be issues so it was much easier to have a set feeding time they got their own meal then i could keep track of what they were both eating because yeah she would she wouldn't regulate <laughs> let's just say that um oh ginger good question um question for the the dyers what should I put in the water when I need to reset the dark colour camel hair? Is it salt or vinegar? Yeah, really good question. Um, does anyone dye their own fabrics? Um, I guess. I'm not an expert. But the little that I've done, obviously you don't know because you don't have the packet of dye, but the, di the packets usually tell you. So I'm guessing that different types of dye need different things to set it, but it's generally been vinegar but please if somebody knows because that would be way better 
Um, guys, we're nearly at an hour and we've only got 23 likes. If you could give me a quick thumbs up for absolutely no reason. But if you've enjoyed being here, yeah, if you've enjoyed being here, I think we were trying to aim for 35 likes and we've got 34 people watching and 23 likes. So I think we can do it. Well, let's, let's hit that 35 likes. Nothing happens, <laughs> but it would be cool. Um, I'll go in and may post one when I make my next one to to Facebook. To Facebook, yeah. I was I was kind of like, does Gwen make a a Facebook a book about a uh, Facebook? Yeah, I. Do. <laughs> Like, hint to anyone doing live streams and stuff, read the entire of the comment, understand it, and then say it. Don't try and say things and understand them at the same time. It doesn't work. Oh, Alicia, finish the tale. Did I miss there was more instructions? Oh, yes. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. I understand. <laughs> Yeah, Gwen. Um, yeah, some dogs do really well with free feeding. It's cool if it works. He chooses what he wants and he it's a set amount. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds cool. Um, top to toe. Hello there. Oh, um, I was late. <laughs> That's okay. It's good to see you. We'll still be here a little bit, um, I think. My internet provider has acquired an attitude lately oh rubbish and you have connection issues oh that's an absolute pain <laughs> just about to give you a well-earned like thank you so much uh, i will i think i've talked about this before but i talk about about this again yes this me saying give us a like or something it's it's what's called a call to action and you can do that in your sales you can do that in your facebook you can do that in anything that you want when you're interacting with people but the thing is to think about why it is that you want it I mean thumbs up this is just I'm just having a bit of fun I don't actually need thumbs up I do enjoy them they are fun um and doing this is is a bit of fun really um but you see so many people like on Facebook they know that comments are important to a post so they'll say comment leave it leave a comment below do this do that and or youtube's even worse it is like comment subscribe do this do that and you're like hold on i'm just watching a video so make your call to actions specific easy and in general a point like if you want someone to comment don't ask them to comment give them something to comment on and it's better if it's personal i was kind of doing this in a couple of my more recent videos if you've seen them like my um fees my eatsy fees videos and if you haven't watched it i do i do the maths so you don't have to but in my eatsy fees video if you'll have noticed i said what do you think that your fees are you know tell me something about you you'll get people more likely to comment if you say it like if I was putting up a picture on Facebook, sorry about my hand wagging. Um, if I was putting up a picture of a dog sculpture I'd made on Facebook, if if I put up and say, hey, what do you think of this? How do you like my dog? Then you would get a few comments. You would comment below, tell me what you think. You'd get a few comments. But if you say, hey, look at my dog. Now tell me, what breed of dog's your favourite breed of dog? If you ask people about themselves, they're more likely to talk to you than if you go, do this thing for me. By the way, answer my market research. Take a bit of time. Um, so, so I hope that makes sense to see the difference, to ask people to engage, make it easy. Now, hitting the thumbs up is, is a super easy thing and it's just a bit of fun and it, it can sort of bind us together as a tribe you're all going let's hit this 35 likes but if I then asked you to subscribe and join my membership and do this and do that and you'd just be like Pam seriously no I'm not going to do all those things <laughs> and I totally out of out of everything I totally appreciate the most that you come and chat to me because this means that I can 
enjoy a live stream <laughs> and it can last an hour. If I was just talking to myself, it doesn't. Um, okay. The eyelid, the center top of the head. Squeeze it a little to give it an arched shape. Yeah, something a bit like that, I think. That looks good. Kind of creepy. <laughs> So, so we've got it right. If if it's creepy, we're doing something right. Um, uh, Gwen, have a have an ease, and you say, as you say, it's related to poodles. Um, so they eat little bits all day. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna try and do the same on the other side sorry i've got to pull this up so i can actually so i can see what i'm doing and then i'll let you see what i'm doing there he's other eye i think that's not even slightly even that's why you've got to check all round about like that um alicia when you rescued your dog she would eat a whole bowl of her food she was so fast she would be sick. You even tried scatter feeding. One day she got on the table and ate a whole bag of cheese. Oh, wow. Goodness me. While you were out, I'm seeing the, the follow-up. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, they're all, all different. Some some dogs like the grub a whole lot more than others. Um, Gwen's already given a like. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yep. Okay. I will sort out the eyes better but that's that's an idea of the start but alicia said that i have to do the tail so i have to do the tail um two wisps of wool and fold them into triangles <laughs> i'm going to ignore the bit that says use your <laughs> felting mat we know i'm not going to do that um but anyway triangles so that's the same as how i felt an ear and i felt ears up in the air um Oh, 29 likes, six more to go, and then I can leave I can leave you in peace to get on with your day. <laughs> this is so stupid. I should have just made the goal 30, and then we would be like almost at the goal. Um Alicia, we fed her that night so she wasn't hungry. Um when we feed her that night, she wasn't hungry, so didn't eat. Yeah. <laughs> Next morning, so the food was in her in her bowl and never over eight or eight too fast again oh fantastic yeah <laughs> yeah alicia i've got the rest of your story yeah um yeah so so overeating a massive bag of cheese <laughs> managed to manage to solve solve your girls eating things unfortunately that's not been the case with my girl she has oh, on walks I, I do walk in the middle of nowhere so I do see a bit more wildlife than other places, but I've been kind of walking and the dogs are running around. I can still see them. I know where they are, but there's nobody about. So I'm not necessarily paying 100% attention to them. And then I'm like, I've not had a dog check in on me in a minute. And then find out they found a massive animal that or already deceased animal. And yeah, they're chowing down and eat quite a large amount of that <laughs> animal because sometimes you've just got to pick your battles and they're raw fed anyway so i'm just like okay it's free food i'm not going to fight my dog <laughs> and try and get that sorted um so she'll eat till she's absolutely full and then we'll go home and i'll be sitting around and it will hit eight o'clock and she's there drumming her feet and you're just like you literally ate a deer <laughs> you do not need any more food um but she'll be drumming drumming her paws saying i desperately need fed i'm starving <laughs> yes unfortunately no uh rose absolutely personal is always better yes get to know people ask them things about themselves rather than ask for things about you this is and i'm not having a dig at anyone this is just a cool thing that i saw someone was asking about last week they'd seen someone on etsy and on their listing you have options for personalizations a little drop down that people have to fill in um, before they can do their order and in the personalization rather than an actual thing 
to personalize your item, what it did was it said, where did you find out about us? Was it from Facebook? Was it from Google and all the rest? And they were asking, is, is this a good thing that this person is doing? And I thought, right, I get why they were doing that. They want a bit of market research. They want to know all of this. But this is a barrier to someone buying. This is asking for something for them to give the buyer that doesn't benefit the seller in any way and it's stopping the process of them buying so no actually it, it might help them it might be working for them but personally I'm not a fan of that um, you can ask people afterwards you know, can you let me know and they can choose but this way you can't buy from me until you do my market research just seemed a bit I, I'm a little bit contrary, but I'm absolutely sure I would have um, gone and bought from somebody else if I saw something like that. Um, uh, Lisa's likes in. Thank you so much. Uh, CJ, screen says you're at 31 likes. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing 30, but I've got a bit of a lag from the rest of you. So 31. Get in there. Four, four more to go. Four little likes for no reason um uh lisa i've been quiet on the chat today oh but we appreciate you there anyway listening to our nonsense chocolate and dogs <laughs> um just being busy at my desk no i love it that there's there's people sitting here create stuff stuff is born while i'm talking things are created i think that's that's so awesome so I, I appreciate everyone who chats. I appreciate everyone who watches and crafts. I, I appreciate all of you. How much she does that sound? <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chat's jumping, which is good. Um, you've been actively listening and enjoyed the chocolate talk <laughs> yeah i want to see there's going to be a spike in cadbury sales when i come off the air <laughs> not at all but yeah wouldn't wouldn't that be funny if you, why why are we getting so many orders from cap there's 33 people that's watching <laughs> i don't think cadbury's would suddenly see even notice the kind of surge if we all went and bought a cream egg <laughs> after this, this thing um Gwen, your boy was a rescue dog, but he was gifted to you. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, no, the previous owners died and the family didn't want him. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Uh, Ginger, your male Malamute was a £100 chihuahua. <laughs> oh, they, they are cuddlers, absolutely. <laughs> the female was, yes, um, the thinker. <laughs> <laughs> escape artist overeater food thief and hated other dogs had to feed separately so the male i saw the comment before they came in the wrong way so the male could eat in peace yes i had to feed mine separately and it's not a bad thing like a lot of people always said to me is like are you you know you're not training them so you're about to they're about to eat together and stuff and i never seen the point I don't like messing around with dog's food. It's far easier if there's going to be stress. It's way easier to separate them, give them their own place that they can eat, enjoy their food in peace. If I'd have put them together, then my female would have been bolting down our food to try and get to his quickly. There would have been stress and everything. I could have, I could have trained it, but why? Why not put them in their own separate place? Give them peace. <laughs> it's sometimes, like I said, like, like I said with the deer, you pick your battles sometimes. Sometimes you don't have to be in charge <laughs> and everything. You just just let them be dogs. Um, Rose sounds genuine. Um, Oh, Pamela, definitely poking along, but working on a more dragony dragon. Oh, there's more dragons being hatched, being born. I, hey, whatever dragon you're making, what? in fact, whatever medium you craft in, 
<laughs> absolutely feel free to make something dragony because March for no reason and no official purposes but just because I want it to be March is dragon month um I have a lot of dragon tutorials on my youtube channel i might have a dragon problem um but yes i have a lot of dragon tutorials so dive in do one of them find someone else's tutorial sketch a dragon knit a hat in dragon colors <laughs> something like that ginger your mouse were rescue three thousand dollar puppies no but elder dogs needing a safe place to live out their lives yeah that um if if you can rescuing an oldie is a lovely thing it's, it's hard you know you haven't got long with them but you're giving them something lovely and yeah they're awesome oh alicia thank you so much we appreciate you pam i love watching you and especially lockdown being important to my sunday in fact you introduced me to the makers that's awesome thank you so much um yeah i didn't do, I, I remember this time last year thinking of all the things i would be doing online and yeah we've all got to not be hard on ourselves and realize that we probably didn't get as much done as we wanted to but hey we survived the zombie apocalypse or nearly it's not done yet but <laughs> yeah we've got through this so if we got through this by lying on the sofa eating chocolate you're saving the world <laughs> a day when you're not being mingling with tons of people if you're just sitting eating chocolate is saving the planet <laughs> i bet no one ever thought that would be the case <laughs> Oh, Gwen, your other dog's groomer gave you your current dog. I know, it's funny how, how dogs come to you, isn't it? Um, yes, my, my girl came came to me by accident. <laughs> um, kind of similar. Um, yeah, Rose, you feed your dog separate so they can eat peacefully. Totally agree. Um, Oh, your boy's 17. He's by himself now. Yeah, my girl is by herself too. But 17 is an amazing age. That's fab. Oh. Ginger, funny thing is, none of my dogs were trying to eat the cat's food. I think she swatted him enough, learnt not to mess with the queen. Sensible dogs. I actually, I have a friend who has border collies, um, quite a number of them but they were having trouble um finding places to put the dog food to put the cat food that the dogs wouldn't get it one dog in particular loved the cat food um and they tried all sorts of places and finally they they thought they found the perfect place they put it up on top of the wardrobe the cats can climb up there absolutely no problem but there'll be no problem with the dogs. The very next day on Facebook, my friend posted a picture of his dog. Guess, guess where my friend's dog was? <laughs> it doesn't take a genius there. No, my fr he came home from work and found his dog sitting on top of the wardrobe going, okay, I had, I had a nice feed, but I need a little help to get down here. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't know how but she managed to climb on top of the wardrobe to get to the dog's feet it was hilarious um rose you're trying this dragon but adding more additions absolutely go go wild with it <laughs> and lisa made a welsh dragon picture with a mandela in the background oh can't wait to see that we'll post a pic thank you so much yeah anybody who wants to share what they're making pam duffy's crafty friends it should be crafty clam but it's crafty friends pam duffy's crafty friends on facebook is the place to go and also if you're using makers kits or fibers or stuff you can also post it in the makers facebook group as well because they obviously love to see what what's been created from their hard work so yeah absolutely love to see everything most especially look fill my facebook feed up with dragons that that's all i ask <laughs> there's too much unhappy stuff and angry stuff and nonsense stuff fill my facebook feed with dragons that that's your challenge for the week <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Gwen, your other dog was a poodle who passed away at 13. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yum. Sorry, chat keeps drunk, jumping. I'm trying to see it, which is good. Um, <laughs> C CJ Dragons approves of the dragon message. <laughs> Oh, CJ, the ten pounds I've gained during this time have definitely been saving the planet a lot. Go you! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Seriously, I'm looking at my my going out shoes and clothes and going, will I even be able to walk in there? <laughs> that and I, I don't have crazy crazy stuff, but you know, it's it's still it's just like, will, will I ever be <laughs> able to do that? Yeah. Um. Oh, Gwen, I'm sorry to hear that with your dog. Um, she was blind, severe thyroid, and just passed away in her sleep. That's lovely. Um, stopped breathing in her sleep, so we knew it was time to put her. It's not lovely, but you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. I'm sorry, it's sad, but it's a it's a good way to go. Um. <laughs> Joe, your second cat was an accident. That that happens, yep. Someone said, I'm sofa surfing. Could you have him for two nights while I find somewhere? <laughs> that was September. She never came back. Wow, she moved 100 miles away. Well, I suppose it's difficult if, if you're homeless, what you do with your pets. But yes, I totally don't. I don't know how you can just leave your pets. But it, it's different if, you're, if your circumstances are like that. Um, Okay, so we want to do this with the tail. Oh, um, we're putting the triangle together, but closing it off. Is it? Yes, it's a closed spiky tail. I'm just checking the pictures. It is. I, I comprende. Yes. So we're putting one, one spike on one side and one spike on the other, and just. Gently felting them together. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, Rose just sent a request to join the Crafty Friends. Awesome. I will. No, I'm going to let everyone in right now. <laughs> I can do that. I think I can. Um, there's a couple of people waiting. So sorry if you've been waiting, but... I'm about to let approve or everybody in. Okay, let people in. <laughs> cool. Oh, Joe, I love him. Ah, thank you. <laughs> All right. He is looking rather gorgeous. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm literally, ooh, definitely just going to firm up these bits because... I don't want to take, I don't want to bore the life out of you all totally. We're just going to firm up these bits for next week. And then next week, what have we got to do? I'll do the yellow body next week. That can be a good start while we're saying hello. Um, now, I'm not going to iron next week. <laughs> hmm, that's an interesting thing. What am I going to do? Okay. That's cool. I can I can make these the Angelica fiber wingy things separately. So I'll have these made and then we'll do everything else. Okay, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll give you all a couple of minutes to say goodbye and give us a thumbs up. Four, four more thumbs up. I see 31. Four more to go to hit our randomly acquired target of 35 thumbs up for the <laughs> Um, right, stop felting. Send send the felter away. So, and then we'll just have send the camera. <laughs> so it's less less technology in my face. Right. So yeah. So just a couple of minutes to say goodbye to everyone. It's been a cool one. Um, and this is this is where we're at so far. I've got he's got a bit white on his snout. So. I'll, work on that um but yeah looking cool so far um <laughs> yeah tidy him up and then we'll be ready that's where we'll start from next week and i am pretty confident 
that we should should maybe be able to finish him next week. I hope I've got enough. <laughs> hope I've left enough of this. Um, but yeah, we should be able to finish him next week. So yeah, guys, if you haven't already, you can get yourself to this sort of stage. Um, certainly joining in the zoominess. I think I saw Alicia say you'll be zooming next time. Um, yes, I just see it. Um. Alicia will be zooming next week just before me so yeah guys check out in the group for joining in the zoom if you want to get ahead on things and uh, Ginger is how you got one of your Hawaiian cats they weren't sure their new apartment allowed pets and so a brand new tiny kitty came came home with me and slept 20 hours oh I kept trying to wake her up <laughs> oh, waking up so I can play with you <laughs> Uh, Gwen, love my boy, though it's 17, he's still a spry, spry as the day I got him. He was six or seven then. Yeah, that's even if you're getting an old deal. I see so many people thinking their dogs are old at like seven and stopping doing stuff with them and everything. My girl's 13 and you're seeing people with like a seven-year-old dog and they're going, oh yeah, he's slowed down a lot. He's seven now. And my girl's practically doing backflips going, will you play with me? Will you chase me? To oh, how, are you how old are you? It's like, she's 13. <laughs> I'm, obviously I'm aware she's older and I'm going to watch out for her but she ain't slow like i'm not gonna slow her down and she till she wants to slow down um oh ginger took her to the vets in the morning she had so many problems but still the best cat oh lovely um alicia time for dinner thank you thank you so much alicia diana um thank you see you next week lisa thanks pam was fun as usual thank you yes i had fun happy mother's day to all the mums out there yes absolutely um and if you're in america just happy mother's day and have an extra one <laughs> uh ginger have a great day pam and everyone hug your pets yep good good cool um gwen pam i see 32 likes on my page oh Cool. I'm, I'm at 31, so I need four more. But Gwen thinks we need three more. <laughs> it, it's just fun. Um, Carol, thanks, Pam, the Crafty Clan. See you next week. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> CJC's 33. So we're nearly there. It's been good, and thank you everyone who has given a thumbs up, who has joined in, who has watched, just for being here thank you all <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous but anyway i am going to leave you 